These footballers may not know it, but the secret of their success could lie in the length of two of their fingers. Professor John Manning says that the relative length of your index finger to your ring finger can say a lot about you, and he's something of a pioneer in this area. He's got a new book coming out this month, and he came by to tell us all about it. So John, this all sounds a bit like clairvoyance, but you say that there's some real science behind this. Well, the science really lies in this tiny sex difference in the fingers. The sex difference um, originates in the fetus, probably around about week nine of fetal development. This is a time when things are, are, are being laid down, all the systems are being formed and so on, so that these are very profound changes. We think that digit ratio picks up on these changes because it's itself affected by testosterone and estrogen. How accurate is this as a predictor of disease and behaviour and particular traits? I mean, and what kinds of things can it predict? It's been shown to correlate with a whole list of things, quite, some of them quite bizarre. Um, a lot of the traits it correlates with, it correlates very weakly. Um, sexual orientation, for example, it correlates but only weakly. For masculine uh, ratios, we, we find strong correlations with endurance running, and that applies both to men and women. For things like autism and poor social behaviour, again it's masculinised fingers. For things like eating disorders, bulimia for example, um, it, it's a, a feminised ratio which, which co correlates. I'm sure a lot of people will want to know how to measure their own ratio, so how do you go about calculating it? Measurements very easy actually. Uh, the, we're, we're dealing with two fingers here. One is the index finger and one is the ring finger. And you just measure from the basal crease of each finger to the tip. Now if you look at the base of your index finger, there's a single crease there. So you just take a midpoint from there and measure to the tip of that finger. You divide the length of your index finger by the length of your ring finger. All right? Now if there are equal lengths, the answer to that, that little sum is 1, so your ratio is 1. And that's typical of females. Um, but if your ring finger is longer, then your ratio is going to be less than 1, and that's typical of males. But I'm fascinated to find out what my hands might say about me, so would you mind measuring them? Everybody wants to know what their, their digit <laughs> ratio is. Your digit ratio is 1. That's right on the average for, for white women in this country. It, it's difficult to make predictions to individuals, but I wouldn't say that you were, uh, you were a very gifted distance runner, for example. Um, in terms of your fertility, I think that it's probably quite high. Well, I've got some colleagues here who are just as keen to get their hands read, so is that okay? That's absolutely fine. And your ratio is 0.93, which probably means you've had quite high testosterone before birth in relation to the amount of estrogen. But it's not abnormal. On the plus side, you, you might well be quite a good distance from it. One other possibility is that you, you may actually be left-handed or have a tendency towards left-handed. I am left-handed. Uh, rather than being um, strictly right-handed. It's... 81 divided by 80, um, which is fairly feminized. It's not strongly feminized. One thing one could say is that I doubt very much whether you are a very good endurance runner. I mean, I, I, and, and, and probably, probably, probably you, you are not somebody who likes to run four miles or five miles before your breakfast. <laughs> Definitely never tried that. <laughs> and you're now working on this ratio as a predictor of certain diseases. So you can tell me what, what you're doing there. Well, I'm looking at uh, uh, the ratios of predictor of heart disease is, is one thing I'm interested in because I think that links with the ratio as a predictor of, uh, uh, of running speed over long distances. I'm interested in whether masculine digit ratios are a predictor of susceptibility to prostate cancer. Uh, there are other uh, diseases which other groups are looking at. Osteoarthritis is one of them, cervical cancer is, is another. It sounds like there's plenty of research still to do in this area, but in the meantime your book, The Finger Book, is out on the 6th of March, is that right? That is correct. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for coming down and uh, telling us all about our fingers today. Thanks for joining us.